Today we're going to be working in the Excel Finance Calculator we've created earlier. Our goal will be to determine how much interest we pay on our mortgage and car payment and student loan calculators. To begin, select row 8, right click, and insert. What this will do is copy in an extra row creating more space for us to work with. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some more space. Another thing we can do instead of clicking row 8 is click and drag rows 8 through 10 and then right click insert. And that should probably be enough room. An easy way to determine the number of interest without using a formula is to take the number of payments times the number of months. So what we'll do is use a formula again typing the equals symbol arrow up to the number of months multiply that times the payment which in this case is cell C7 and because of the way that it's formatted that's a negative number so let's go up in here in the top formula editor and put in a negative symbol in front of the C7 and press enter. You'll now note that for the hundred thousand dollar loan amount we will actually pay over two times the value over the life of the loan over 30 years. So let's put this as total payment. And so our interest would be the total payment minus the home's purchase price. So we can create that formula by again the total payment minus the the original loan amount or purchase price. In our case, we for this sake of discussion, the loan amount was the full purchase price originally. And you'll see right there the difference is exactly uh, that amount. So we'll call this total interest. Okay, so again if we go over to the car payment calculator it would be the same format. So what we'd do is we'd click in cell F8 and we'd say that that is the total amount of payments would be equal to the number of months times the payment amount each month and we'll take a negative of that number to keep the, the positive value. So you would see on this uh, shorter duration, much shorter, five years versus 30 years in this case, you're dealing with a little over a thousand dollars of interest. So we'll call this total payment. And compare that to our total interest. So again, the total interest would be the total payment subtracted to subtract the loan amount. And you come up with the exact amount right there. And of course, all of these formulas, they change instantly. And that's the power of Excel. If you have a $22,000 loan, at five years at two percent you'll notice you pay eleven hundred dollars in interest but say if you had a, a worse loan offer of maybe five percent so over double the interest we're going to see this number down here the total interest payment shoot up quite a bit over two times the total interest so that makes your total payments on the twenty two thousand dollar automobile closer to twenty five thousand dollars and so one more time, let's come over to the student loan calculator and we'll calculate our total payment and total interest for that loan as well. And now we've created calculators that determine the total payment and total interest for each of the calculators within our workbook. So be sure to save our workbook. And that completes this lesson.